The country director accountability lab Nigeria, Friday Ode says, men and women who showed transparency and accountability in the discharge of their duties in the public sector need to be celebrated. He stated this at the fourth edition of Integrity Icon Award held in Abuja. Ude who said that the public sector is marred by corruption, making it impossible to find men and women of integrity, added that despite the odds, there are few individuals who stood out to do what is right. He said that the Integrity Icon Award was started in 2017 to celebrate men and women of integrity in the public sector has always engaged the citizens during the nomination process. We're in a country where we have all lost hope and we have people who are shining lights and giving us hope in terms of um, their integrity. So what they do right, you hardly find people who do things right, but this is an opportunity to engage with people who are doing right things. The processes in the, in the integrity icon um, nomination, basically, we start with nomination, which is basically having go, to go around Nigeria through citizens to get us nominations. We basically have volunteers who help us drill down to 100, then 50, then we give the top 30 to, to the independent judges who help us bring the top five. And um, it just tells the story and keeps, keeps giving that hope to people, like we have people of integrity who are ready to change our society. The communications officer of the organization, Chimaroke Chukuka, said that the Integrity Icon Award winners were a reminder that not all public servants are corrupt. He said that the icons, with their exceptional stories, have become a reference point for integrity, transparency, and accountability in Nigeria's public service. Today, we are doing what many people say is impossible to do. We are gradually rewriting the common narrative that everyone within the public service is corrupt. This we do beyond words, and through the stories of these living legends, whom we call integrity icons. Their stories have become the beacon of hope. We can build, that we can build a public service characterized by integrity, transparency, and accountability. Well, many Nigerians have identified, celebrated, and made celebrities of five integrity icon each year since 2017. The National Coordinator Savikon Nenna Akajemile, who was represented by Henretta Ogoko, said that the public service should be accountable to those that is deserving, adding that it is the right of Nigerians to be served right by service providers. She noted that Savicom was conceptualized to fight against service failure and ensure organs of government deliver to citizens the services to which they are entitled to. She also said that political interference, bribery, tribalism, corruption, and lack of initiatives has destroyed the public service. The Nigerian public service is accountable to the public it should, it should serve. Over the years, the Nigerian civil service has been bedeviled by negative or poor attitude to work, bureaucratic bottlenecks, which some argue that it is for administrative rectitude, political instability, political interference, duplication of offices and functions, shortages of qualified personnel, ineffective organization, lack of initiative, irresponsibility, attitude, poor remuneration, bribery, and corruption. Veteran broadcaster Eugenia Abu, who was one of the discussants, said capacity building remains a challenge to public service delivery. According to her, directors of ministries should create periodical informal training for their staff to provide quality and efficient service, adding that those working in the public sector should know the rules and regulations guiding the service. I think part of the challenge in, in public service delivery is um, we need to work on capacity building. Because if you hire someone and you don't really explain to them, just giving them the book is not enough. Capacity building is so critical. It's expensive, but government must invest in it. And I think um, uh, the, correct, the current head of, of, of the civil service, is, is um, head of service, is working on, on improving um, capacity building. But you know, she can't do it alone. We need people from their own 
M MDAs, you know, director generals and so on. I believe that if people are being put under your watch, you know, uh, in my own area, my own department, I should be able to create some informal training to get the people that work with me to understand the rules and regulations of the civil service. The Director General Bureau of Public Service Reforms, Dasuku Arabi, said his agency has implemented and harmonized reforms to enhance service delivery in the public sector. He said the agency, through its financial management reforms, initiated the introduction of Treasury account, bank verification number BVN, tax and procurement IPPIS, and others which have reduced corruption more than 80% and improved transparency in the civil service. We are proud to say that all the reforms in public financial management that we have initiated, that have been uh, approved and adopted by government like IFSAS, Treasury Single Account, BV and GIFMIS, have reduced corruption by more than 80% in Nigeria. Transparency has improved. Some Integrity Icon Award recipients also expressed their happiness and promised to do more to build a transparent and corrupt-free public sector. Whatever you are doing in this world, there are some that are there watching, either positively or negatively. Maintain that integrity. Don't allow anyone to change that principle. I want to say a very big thank you to Accountability Icon Nigeria for a very good job well done for trying to scout around to look for the integrity icons in the ministries and parastatus. And God bless the SDC. Thank you. This, this course of life that I chose, I started it 35 years ago with my own father. It's not that I, I, I brought it from outside. I started it from home. Now, it's putting it outside. So people were amazed. When I engaged my father, when he was in a group that took a wrong decision, said this decision will not stand. I had to take them to court, included him in the decision, challenged them and won them in the court. They went to appeal, I still won them on behalf of somebody. The lane I've taken in life, I've never regretted it. The straight, and I'll continue marching in my decided direction. I'm comfortable with my choice in life. All the corrupt tendencies that people are accused lecturers of, I don't go that way, whether it is collection of money from students or taking advantage of them in other ways. I don't do that. You pass, you pass. You fail, you fail. Integrity Icon Award aims to change the anti-corruption narrative by celebrating well-deserved Nigerians who show resilience, integrity and accountability in the public sector. Obomano Marvelous Chinidu for Signature TV. Abuja.